you have enough light? For I do, I do, yeah. Back? Yeah, it's great. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. It's wonderful to be back here at the Talmud Lunch and Learn. Thank you to our chef for providing such delicious lunch for everyone. Uh, just before we go on to our regular Talmud study, I wanted to share a little bit of something on this week's Parsha. So we see that, that Moshe did not give to the children of Kahat, which is one of the, the Levite families, he didn't give them wagons. He didn't give them wagons to carry the, uh, the ark. And it's, you know, all the holy articles that they were carrying. So it's very interesting. Why didn't they have a wagon to carry it on? They had to carry it on their shoulders, specifically on their shoulders. Right? You'd think, you know, just help them out. Everybody else got wagons. They can carry the menorah on a wagon. They can carry many things on a wagon. But those who were carrying the ark, they had to carry it on their shoulder. And they had these rods. So our sages explained to us that the reason is because really the ark carried them. They would hold it, but the ark would carry them. They weren't really holding the ark. And our sages tell us that sometimes we think that we're doing the labor, we're, we're working hard in trying to carry something, but when we do it for the sake of Hashem, we do it for the sake of, of, of heaven, it carries us. Right? Uh, you can think of many different examples of, for example, people who are giving, giving a, a contribution to their synagogue or to a good cause. Right? So we think, oh, I'm giving the contribution, but many, many honest contributors will tell you that they receive much more than they're actually giving. It's sort of like th there's blessing that comes to them. Yeah, true, they gave money to a, an institution, but many times the, re the return to themselves is tenfold uh, greater. But it's not only in a, in, in a physical way, but it's also in a spiritual way. When we learn right, to teach, it says you learn greater. Your learning is greater. You, you, you absorb the information better when you have to teach it. When you feel a sense of responsibility to not only learn information, but to actually share that information, um, there are many different ways we can apply this principle, but I think it's a very fundamental idea that you know, not everything that we think we're carrying is really us carrying. Sometimes it could be carrying us. I'll just share with you a quick story. My grandfather, of blessed memory, I used to walk home with him from synagogue in the morning, and I would offer, my grandfather was ready in his 80s, I asked him if I can hold his tefillin for him as we were walking home from shul. And uh, my grandfather would say, no, I carry my own tefillin. Why? He said it's like the Arum, it's like the Ark. The Ark carried those who were carrying it. He says, my tefillin, I'm not carrying my tefillin. My tefillin are carrying me. And so this is a vessel through which we do a mitzvah, we connect to the Almighty on a much higher level. The, 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 the object, the tefillin, is so holy, it carries me, I'm, I'm not carrying it. And I, I guess my grandfather felt he needed that extra help of the tefillin to carry him. I think we should all think about this idea that um, you know, these mitzvahs, these, these actions that we do, have a tremendous influence in helping us grow and become better people. And we should always be blessed, like the Levites, to experience how you know, the ark carries us, the ark pulls us forward and takes us to the next level. So we're going to start our Talmud study now. Thank you to our friends online. Thank you for joining us. And you're always welcome to join us here at the Torch Center for more programs.